we read the New York Times in the morning mm -hmm. and we go like, ah, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So I'm on my way out now. I spent a majority of my morning editing my most recent vlog, the one about the Los Angeles Art Book Fair, where we try to look for alcohol, and I don't know, I think it was pretty cool. Uh, on my way out to two art galleries today. One is uh, Morin Bondaroff. There's this guy named Terrence Coe that has a exhibition going on and it's actually part exhibition part performance piece I think he actually lives there and that's why I had that bag with me earlier this one right here he won't step foot out of the art gallery and he's pretty much lived there for the extent of the exhibit and people basically bring him whatever they want and he doesn't live off anything else besides what people bring him and what he grows in this garden that he has there so I'm headed over to the exhibit right now but before that I'm gonna stop by the grocery store pick up a couple more things and then I'm gonna head over I wanna put my name on it's not even my birthday it's a re -re, I go re -re it on a remix of the re record it on a CD DVD MP3 and DVD for it alright two sweet potatoes and two I don't know, plums? I think they're called plums. Anyways, headed to the gallery now. So I just got here. Super nervous for some reason. I think it's because I know I have to talk to them and I just don't want to make a fool of myself. But I'm headed there right now. Brendan, yeah. so Terrence and Brendan. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Trying to have different. Did you notice in, inside the buttons, there's all different sort of um, ideology of buttons represented. Terrence made a point to put in buttons that didn't necessarily reflect his views. Is that, yeah, like, like there's like pro Trump, like there's pro like Trump buttons, pro Trump, yeah. not his politics buttons. And, and, and it's so interesting to see like the gallery staff and like my, my boyfriend Garrick like very uncomfortable with these buttons. Like before we put them up, we left in the kitchen cafe table upstairs and people would just kind of turn the buttons over like every time I left because I was because as I thought like in no one way for us it was like we would 
invite, make this a safe place right. for yeah. everybody. So it didn't matter who you were, you should be comfortable here so that we could like have a conversation. So I thought like why not I just have all these yeah. trunk buttons as well, mixed in with all these buttons. So like you, you get uncomfortable and you get so uncomfortable because you see friends that are undocumented immigrants or you see people that are around in Los Angeles and you see you can just imagine how uncomfortable their lives are right now. Yeah as well, like, which is like, well, Los Angeles, like, you know, yeah, there's, there's undocumented immigrants everywhere, which personally, it's like, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Undo the undocumented immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Terrence, uh, I actually have to get going Yeah, there. you can drop by tomorrow. So we're trying to get a, like, a, as, as diverse a bunch of people as possible mm -hmm. in the front room in a circle. And we're going to set it up like a campfire. Like, but anybody, if you want to come tomorrow and tell a story, you guys, from your own background and experience, the idea is yeah. that Different, as diverse a group of people as possible can li just listen to each other, and, like not not have an argument or a discussion. Just sit around the campfire, look in each other's eyes. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Have a great day. You too. Great it was to nice you. meeting you. Bye. Bye. Uh, so I just left the gallery. That was a lot less nerve wracking than I thought. The artist who was basically living there was super nice. We got into a really really uh, cool conversation about politics and what he was doing and being present. It was all really cool. I'm on to the next exhibit now. It's actually a house that was built in the 1930s. The house was actually a speculative house. So it'd be kind of interesting to see what the two architects were thinking people would want in like the 40s and 50s. But headed there right now. I can't find this place, so I'm gonna give him a call real quick. Hi, are you guys on 84? So I was at the right place, but it just turned out that I needed an appointment to go check out the house. They said that I could go check it out tomorrow without an appointment, but I won't be able to make it there tomorrow. I got work. So it's actually the next day now. Um, yesterday when I was talking to Terrence, the artist, he told me that today there was going to be an event. and. It was basically inviting people of a bunch of different backgrounds, whether you're Muslim, gay, black, Trump supporter, Bernie supporter. He told me about it and he asked me if I was free. I have work, which I just got off of. But I'm headed there right now. I just left the exhibit. It was really cool, man. It was basically a bunch of people telling stories about themselves and it was really cool. I love hearing stories, man. I think that stories really reveal a lot about the person and really shows us what we can learn about them and what we can learn about ourselves in the process. And that's pretty much it.